How's it going? Welcome to another uh, Moments Icon. We have got Clarence Seydorf, a player I actually really do enjoy, uh, or not necessarily enjoy, but I always enjoyed watching him, especially growing up. You know, I watched him a lot because uh, he spent a majority of his time in Milan. Uh, and, you know, he's a really special player, very unique. I thought his ability uh, to, you know, score from the midfield, his the power shots, the long shots, I thought were really uh, impressive. Um, but yeah, I've used his versions. I know he's very popular, especially his base and mid version uh, in the earlier stages. But I know uh, I've tried his moments card in FIFA 19. He had the Icon SPC. Uh, I've tried him last year in FIFA 20. Uh, and I'll be perfectly honest, I've never been a huge fan of his cards. I just don't think they necessarily translate too well in game. So kind of find it quite disappointing. I mean, this card again looks very good. Uh, it's just the lower agility. But uh, yeah, I was just hoping maybe for something different this year. Uh, he's quite expensive. He's around a million to 1.4 million coins on both consoles. So that is quite expensive. Uh, but with the rate at EA, which EA, you know, is releasing these icons through SBCs, I think we could definitely see him at a cheaper price uh, in the near future. So we will start out, uh, we'll get into the stats. We'll start out with the pace. Uh, 81 acceleration, 83 sprint speed. You know, that's decent. Uh, there's nothing fantastic about that. I think that's just decent enough. Uh, you know, he's quick. I would definitely boost it with a chemistry style. I think Shadow is the most popular option. Uh, but you can, of course, if you want to, you can improve, uh, boost the passing with a catalyst as well. Uh, you can go for a hunter to max out the shooting stats. It kind of just depends where you want to play him, of course. Uh, but yeah, I would probably boost it up a little bit. Uh, the shooting, probably the best thing about this card. He's a great goal scoring threat. You know, he's more of an attacking box to box midfielder. Uh, of course, you can use him at cam as well. But this guy will get you a load of goals especially from range he's got 99 shot power and 99 long shots and you can definitely feel the long shots uh, and his ability to shoot from range you can uh, see in a lot of these clips his abilities uh, and just some of the goals he scores you know are quite impressive uh, he's got the 89 attack positioning and 85 finishing so he's also going to be a good threat inside the area uh, as well quite clinical and uh, you know good on either foot uh, 85 volleys and 90 penalties as well uh, the passing, again, is perfect for a center attacking midfielder if you do want to play him there. Very creative, uh, great ball player, and just a very good playmaker. And uh, will set up his teammates very effectively. Uh, he's got the 93 vision, 93 short pass, and 91 long passing. Uh, 89 crossing as well is pretty good. Then on the ball, uh, maybe my least favorite thing about this card. You know, he's not bad on the ball, uh, technically. You know, he's got the 4-star skills, the 94 ball control. Uh, 90 dribbling you can really feel the good uh, close control in these tight areas when the you know the defenders are pressing him uh, but you, you can feel a little bit of stiffness not clunkiness but a bit of stiffness uh, when turning you know he's more of a tanky style uh, build but yeah 76 agility is a bit low but it's it doesn't feel as bad in my opinion as previous years but you can definitely feel uh, a bit of it 89, uh, 89 balance as well is pretty good. 93 reactions, which definitely helps. You know, he feels quite responsive uh, on and off the ball. And then the 91 composure, which is very good. Uh, defensively, you know, he doesn't have fantastic stats, but I think if you want to play him in a center mid role, you can. Uh, and he's just quite disruptive. He's got the 82 interceptions, 70 defensive awareness. Uh, and then physically, like I said, he's very strong, very tanky. And uh, with the 86 strength, it's really hard. You can see he's able to hold off those uh, challenges from the defenders, especially from behind. You know, he's very strong and bullish. Uh, so, you know, there's not really many who can take the ball off of him just through strength. And then the 85 stamina, which is decent. Uh, but if you do go into overtime or maybe even the latter stages of the game, uh, he might not quite make it. But overall, I actually think he's very good this year. Uh, I think his moments is definitely better than previous years. Uh, I definitely think he's a very good option and a very fun card. He also has the dreads in game. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, picking him up if you guys have the chance. So that's going to be my Sador review. Please like, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.